Hi guys, this is a iPhone 13 Pro Max. The display was damaged, so we installed a cheaper in-cell display and we were trying it for a few days, but this in-cell display is sort of like glitching and not really working properly. Performance is slow and poor. So we decided that we will install, we will replace it with a aftermarket OLED display. So right now we're gonna remove it and install a aftermarket OLED display. So we're just removing it right now. iPhone 13 Pro Max aftermarket display is still are not very stable. So, you know, whenever you, know, you install the display, then you must inform customer that the performance is not at par with the original display. So it's not going to be, cost price also much cheaper, but obviously performance wise, it's not so great. So the cheaper option is the aftermarket display, but obviously there's a trade-off, which is the performance of the iPhone 13 with the aftermarket display is not so great. Just going to remove the display right now. This is the removing tool right now. So for removing the iPhone display, this is a must have tool. Slowly, gradually, it's coming out. You have to be very patient. Use the alcohol, and always use 99% alcohol. Don't ever use any less than 99% alcohol, which has some other content, which can also be detrimental for the phone and other areas where the liquid can go inside. Let's open up so we're going to just remove the screen remove the top module which is the camera and the face id module and then replace with the aftermarket OLED screen which is better than the lcd screen which is made by Intel. Very carefully, you have to remove this part. So this is a part which is included with the face ID and mic and ear speaker. screen which is the OLED screen is still aftermarket screen 
hopefully the performance of this screen will be better because this is OLED screen, not the LCD screen. This is the aftermarket OLED LCD. Seems pretty nice. Technology wise, everything looks good. 